Operation of Aravap. Setup. After unpacking, place the instrument on a stable bench top. Make sure that the vent holes of the analyzer are not obstructed. The analyzer requires an environment with ambient room temperature in the range from 10 to 45 degrees Celsius. Turn the instrument and connect the power cable to the plug on the rear side of the instrument. The AC input voltage can be anywhere between 85 and 264 volts. If the instrument is used in mobile laboratories or in the field, it can also be operated at 12 volts DC using a DC-AC converter. For data transfer or remote control, the unit can be connected to a network by the Ethernet interface or directly to a computer or printer using the USB ports. Put the inlet tube in the Lua inlet on the right side of the instrument. Then place the waste container next to the instrument and connect the outlet tube to the outlet on the left side of the instrument. Switch on the analyzer by pushing the power button on the front. After a few seconds, the instrument is ready for use. Measurement. Aerovap strictly follows the latest international vapor pressure methods for gasoline, crude oil and LPG. All purchase standard methods are listed in the first drop-down list on the measuring screen. The standards ASTM D5191 and EN13016, as well as the standard ASTM D5188, require a sample preparation before measurement. It is important to do this sample preparation very carefully to make sure that you get correct results for these methods. Preparation comprises the cooling and the air saturation of the sample. Sample preparation for ASTM D5188, D5191 and EN13016. Always use 1 litre sample containers that are 70 to 80% filled. The sample has to be cooled down to 0 to 1 degree Celsius. You can either use an ice bath or a refrigerator. Additionally, these standard methods require an air saturation of the sample. For the air saturation, take out the cooled sample, open the lid and immediately close it again. Shake the sample container vigorously for a few seconds. Then put it back into the ice bath or in the refrigerator for another two minutes. For measurements according to ASTM D5191 and EN13016, this air saturation procedure must be carried out three times. For a measurement according to ASTM D5188, air saturation is required only once. After this preparation procedure, the sample is ready for measurement. Measuring the vapor pressure of gasoline according to ASTM D6378. The latest vapor pressure method for gasoline, ASTM D6378, does not require any sample preparation. You can immediately start with the measurement of your gasoline samples. Select the standard method, ASTM D6378, from the first drop-down list on the measuring screen. Enter the sample ID and the operator on the pop-up keyboard or select them from the drop-down list of previously entered names. Open the sample container immediately before the measurement. Insert the filling tube and press Run. The instrument automatically starts to rinse and then fill the chamber for the measurement. After a few minutes, the measurement is finished and the result is displayed. The instrument is immediately ready for the next measurement. Measuring the vapor pressure of crude oil according to ASTM D6377. This method allows two different filling procedures, depending on how crude oil is delivered. If the crude oil is filled into a non-pressurized container, 
The measurement is identical as for gasoline testing, according to ASTM D6378. No sample preparation is required. Just select the method D6377, enter the sample ID, select the operator, and press Run. The AeroVap automatically starts to rinse and fill the chamber for the measurement. After a few minutes, the measurement is finished and the result is displayed. Alternatively, the crude oil can be filled into a floating piston cylinder to avoid losing any contained high volatiles. To connect the floating piston cylinder to the AeroVap, the Lua connector must be replaced by a quick connector for pressurized rinsing and filling of the instrument. Unscrew the Lua connector, check the filter for contamination or dirt, and if necessary, replace it. Attach the quick connector nut. Now place the floating piston cylinder next to the instrument and connect the outlet tube of the floating piston cylinder to the instrument with the quick fit. Check the manometer to make sure that the pressure in the floating piston cylinder does not exceed 1000 kPa. Ideally, it should be between 100 and 500 kPa. Open the sample valve of the floating piston cylinder and press Run. The instrument automatically starts to rinse and then continues with the filling procedure. As soon as the measurement is finished, the result is displayed. Close the FPC sample valve and press OK on the AeroVap screen. Now the pressure in the filling tube must be released before the quick connector of the FPC is removed. Press the Open Valves button on the AeroVap screen. The inlet and outlet valves of the instrument are open for 5 seconds to release any pressure. Now the quick connector can be removed. Cleaning of the AeroVap after crude oil tests. Measuring crude oil requires a good cleaning procedure to avoid any residues remaining in the measuring chamber. Use toluene for cleaning. Clean the instrument immediately after the test measurement. Press the rinse button to start five automatic cleaning cycles. Carefully observe the outlet to see whether the toluene is still dark after the last rinsing cycle. If so, press the rinse button again. After the cleaning with toluene, another rinsing process must be carried out with air. Then the instrument is ready for the next measurement. Measuring the vapor pressure of LPG according to ASTM D6897. Select the standard method ASTM D6897 from the first drop-down list on the measuring screen. Enter the sample ID, select the operator, and then press Run. AeroVap automatically starts to cool down the measuring cell. Use the quick connector to connect the pressurized LPG container. Make sure the pressure in the container does not exceed about 800 kPa for the low-pressure model EV01. The ideal pressure is 500 kPa or less. For the high-pressure AeroVap model EV02, a higher filling pressure up to about 1500 kPa can be used. However, the lower the filling pressures, the better. Open the valve of the pressurized LPG container before the temperature in the measuring cell reaches 5 degrees Celsius. Pressurized containers with a vapor space must be turned upside down to ensure that the liquefied gas is filled. Alternatively, it is possible to use floating piston cylinders. Automatic rinsing cycles are performed and the chamber is filled for the measurement. After a few minutes, the measurement is finished and the result is displayed. Now the pressure in the filling tube must be released before the quick connector is removed. Press the Open Valves button on the AeroVap screen. 
The inlet and outlet valves of the instrument are open for five seconds to release any pressure. Now the quick connector can be removed and the instrument is ready for the next measurement. Auto Sampler For measurements requiring a high sample throughput, it is possible to attach an auto sampler to the Aerovap. The method and sample ID can be selected individually for each port and entered on the large color display. It is not necessary to use all of the inlet ports. Load the sample for the activated ports and press Run. The measurements are performed consecutively. For all methods requiring a sample preparation, a cooling bath is recommended when more than one sample is tested. Result Handling In the Result menu, several thousand results can be stored and reviewed. Simply go to the Result menu. Each line displays a result. Browse through the result memory using the cursor keys at the bottom of the list. The data can also be printed on a directly connected printer or via Ethernet connection to a LAN or network printer. A file containing all results can be stored on a USB flash drive for storage on a PC or a review in MS Excel. A very convenient alternative is the automatic transfer of the data to a LIM system. There is no software required. Just connect the instrument to the local area network via the built-in Ethernet connection and define the folder and file name where the results shall be stored. Please make sure to carefully read the instruction manual before you start with the first measurements. The manual is available as PDF file on the delivered USB flash drive. Additionally, you will find a one-page laminated short instruction inside the accessories box. If there are still questions remaining, please contact our well-trained local representatives or contact us directly via our website at aerolytics.com.